Hi, it's Jess from Jesslyn Art, and today I'm going to show you a quick little tutorial on how to create a dash brush just like this one. So first I'm going to start with a square canvas as usual, and you can see that it's 27 inches by 27 inches at 300 dpi. You can choose any size canvas as long as it's a square. I'm going to go and open the default calligraphy brush set that comes with Procreate and duplicate the monoline brush. And I'm just going to turn the maximum size up all the way to maximum so that we can use this brush to create our dash. And oh, I can see it's a bit too big, so I'm just going to decrease the size a little bit to about 50%. And then I'm going to draw a straight line and tap with one finger with my other hand so that I make it completely straight. I want to make sure that this line is completely centered, so I'm going to tap the arrow key and make sure snapping is turned on. And then I'm going to move my line so that the yellow lines show up, showing that it is completely centered in the middle of my canvas. This is the shape that I want to use to create my brush. So I'm going to copy this by swiping down with three fingers, bringing up the copy and paste menu and pressing copy all. And now I'm going to create a new brush. So I'm going to scroll all the way to the top of my brush library. As you can see, I have quite a few brush sets. And I'm going to just tap the plus sign and create a new brush library. I'm going to just call this dash brush so that I know what it is. And then I'm going to tap on the plus sign on the right hand side to create a new brush. In the shape menu, I'm going to edit my shape source and I'm going to import and paste what I just copied. And you can see that it is a black line on a white canvas, but we want it the other way around. So I'm going to use two fingers and tap to invert this. I'm going to tap done to save my settings. I'm going to turn rotation all the way up until it says follow stroke so that the line follows the direction of my brush. Under Apple Pencil, I'm going to change the opacity to zero. And under properties, I'm going to turn up the maximum size. This is just so that I can see what I'm doing. I think I did about 600% here. And under stroke path, I'm now going to increase the spacing until the, there is a gap in between each line. That'll give us the dash line. I'm just going to decrease the preview size and clear this drawing pad so that we can actually see what we're doing over here. There we go. That's a little bit better. And now you can play around with the spacing, increasing or decreasing it until you're happy. And so you get that dash line. Obviously, you can see sometimes it's not 100% perfect, but you can also play with the shape size that you put in your shape source, either a smaller line or a longer line, whatever you like. But that is the gist of it, and let's test it out. Oh, I can see that there is one setting I did forget to change. So under Properties, I'm going to turn off Orient to Screen, and that's going to actually fix this issue. So. Now we've got a proper dash line and it always looks better when you decrease the size. There we go, that's a little bit better. And now if we decrease the size a bit more, we see that we've got a nice dash line that we can use in our illustrations or journaling or to create different borders. You can use the same method to create all sorts of different dash brushes. There's a link in the description to my 10 brush dash set. If you like this video, please make sure you subscribe for more tutorials.